We follow the Taliban guards on their motorcycle up through the gorge to a plateau high in the mountains of Logar province. This barren, isolated place in eastern Afghanistan is believed to hold the second largest copper ore deposits in the world, worth at least $50 billion. The Chinese flag flies over a makeshift mining camp. In 2007, the former Afghan government signed a 30-year lease with a consortium of Chinese state-owned companies to start mining work here. It never did, and the Taliban is in control now. Our country is economically very weak. We hope the mine will help the whole country. If the work is not beneficial for all Afghans, we'll restart the process and give the contract to someone else. The Taliban fighters let us through the gate, but a guard working for the Chinese companies refuses to let us film. You can problem. come inside and look, look at our camp, but you cannot record. The last Chinese staff to flee what became a fast deteriorating security situation left in early August. But years of fighting between the Taliban, NATO forces and the Afghan army is not the only reason why excavations have not started yet. This valley is absolutely full of history. Buddhist, Zoroastrian, archaeologists say stretching back to 2,000 years. The Taliban say they're going to do all they can to protect the archaeology here before mining for copper on the other side of the mountain starts. These ancient ruins were once a thriving city on the Silk Route between China and Europe. Its inhabitants were mainly Buddhists. We're nomads and we were traveling through these mountains for years, says this man. The surface was smooth. We had no idea there was an ancient city beneath. Come here. A local Taliban official guides us into tunnels to show where Afghan and foreign archaeologists have been working for years to remove artifacts before the mining starts. But just like the Chinese miners, the archaeologists also fled when the Taliban arrived. We walk to huts on a cliff where he reveals one of the estimated 500 Buddhist statues that are carved into the mountainside. In 2001, the Taliban caused international outrage by blowing up giant Buddhist statues in the cliffs of Bamiyan. So will they do something like that here too? It's 2,000 years old. The Chinese made an agreement the artifacts have to be taken away and protected. If we wanted to destroy them, we would have done it when we took control, but we didn't. We protected them. It's unsure when the archaeologists will return, and experts say until China recognizes the Taliban government, contracts signed with previous Afghan administrations are all on hold. These mountains could unlock immense wealth for Afghanistan. The Taliban says the archaeology will be moved and protected first. Afghans and the world watch to see if the new rulers of this country keep their word. Charles Stratford Al Jazeera, Miss Ainak, Afghanistan.